Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project idea. This time it's a 3D holiday stocking that you can use in a variety of ways. Here's what you need to gather together to make this project at home. Along with your Big Shot, you're going to need your platform, your two standard cutting pads, and your snowburst embossing folder. You're also going to need the holiday stocking die. This is a new die that is featured in the holiday mini catalog. Along with that, I use two colors of cardstock, real red and whisper white. And then I have my snail adhesive, my sticky strip, and my paper. So the strips. first thing we're going to do to create the holiday stocking is to run the two pieces of real red cardstock through the big shot. So I've got my bottom standard cutting pad, my die with the two pieces of real red cardstock on top, and then the top standard cutting pad. And we want to run that through the big shot. You can do two pieces at the same time, which is great. So on this die, you're going to get the toe, the cuff, and the stocking itself. So I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to bring in my Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to run one piece of Whisper White cardstock through as well, because I want contrasting colors on my holiday stocking. Run that through. Now, for this piece, what I'm going to use is the toe and the heel and the cuff, and I'm going to set aside this stocking to use on a different project. Then what I want to do is I want to add some texture to my two stocking pieces, actually just the one stocking piece, because you're really only going to see the front of the stocking. So this time I'm going to use a different combination for my Big Shot. I'm going to use the platform on tab two because I know that my snowburst embossing folder embosses very deeply and it's hard to get the stocking off of or out of the embossing folder when I'm done. So I'm going to open up my snowburst folder and I'm going to stick my stocking in. I also know that the top of my stocking is going to be covered by the cuff so I don't really have to worry about it poking out of the embossing folder. So I've got my platform on tab two, my bottom standard cutting pad, my snowburst embossing folder, and my top standard cutting pad. And then I'm gonna move it over so I don't bump the camera. I'm gonna run it through the big shot. There we go. All right, so there it is there with a beautiful embossed layer. So now what I want to do is I want to complete the project by putting all the pieces together. So I've got my cuff, my toe, and my heel, and let's put it together. So I'm going to just separate those two pieces for right now. I'm going to add my cuff at the top by using some snail adhesive. Let's get it on straight. There we go. And I've got my toe piece. goes like that and I'm going to put my heel piece on which goes like that. So there's the front of my stocking and then what I want to do is I want to attach it to the back stocking so that I can make a little, um, it can be a 3D item and I can tuck something special inside the stocking. The best way to do that is to use a piece of sticky strip and I put some sticky strip on the toe, 
like just little dots of sticky strip so that, let me bring this in, I have my stocking with a little bit of an opening that I can slide something down inside. You can slide some licorice, some special candy in a tiny little one of our new cello bags that are one inch by eight inch. You could put a gift card in there. Many different ideas for this stocking. Now depending on how you emboss your stocking, you can either have it hanging this way or you can have it hanging this way. Um, and if you go to my blog in the next few days, I will have a variety of ideas for using this stocking. Um, and I can share, you, share with you some different stocking ideas. For a complete list of the supplies and the measurements I used to make this project, please go to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. If you are not a newsletter subscriber, while you're on my blog, think about subscribing to my free monthly newsletters. I have a special series right now that are called the 12 Weeks of Christmas. It's an additional newsletter that shows you exclusive Christmas ideas. And I also send out two other newsletters each month as well. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.